there. So I'm going to talk about this new search. It's fairly new. And I have given it a try, and I am definitely pleased with it. So see this result hunter? So I tried to download this before with Microsoft Edge, and it would not allow it. Obviously, they're resistant to competition, and so for various reasons, the extension could not be added. So I actually downloaded the Google browser so that I could add it. So basically, the uh, Google search engine has actually been my preference over all the others, but it is very, very leftist. And you're going to see what they want you to see as far as when you search something. You can used to be you can scroll down quite a bit and then you can see other options, but it's getting to be like YouTube is. All you're going to see is what they want you to see. When you're trying to search for things, you'll see the same channels on the topic that you're searching over and over and over. You don't see the smaller channels. They see you, you'll see what they want you to see. And so that's pretty much how Google operates and other plat other search engines so I actually do like the Bravo browser I have used that for a long time also I use alternate platforms to try to get information um, so result hunter is it's conservative there's no you know hide anything about it it's not it's for conservatives those who want to see what is basically hidden okay and put in the bottom of the barrel if you get to see anything at all and the first thing that I searched was articles that if you search on Google or Microsoft Edge you're not going to see them so I think it is effective it does do what it says it's going to do you just click on that extension that you see and then do your searches that way and you're actually empowering the conservatives because for those who are especially conservative Christians or just conservatives in general, every time you use Google, every time you use Microsoft or Yahoo and all those mainstream websites and search engines, you are powering them. You are fueling them. You're enabling them because all the ads and whatnot, it, it gives them profit and keeps them in power. So this is a great source and I don't see the nuisance things like pop-ups the ads are very um, not all over the place if you will this is the owner the message of the owner and the creator of result hunter he wanted a different search experience with less big media articles more articles that are straight to the point with data and individual contributors without sacrificing all the more fun entertaining or quick fact-based searches that he may conduct to be the number one search engine for people who believe in free markets, family values, and private charity. He built Result Hunter with his own time and money so he can do what he thinks is right rather than be influenced by investors or other stakeholders. Is big tech bad? They are incredible at technology. Big search engines have sent the human race further toward the future, but you might know your but they know your browsing activity. They know a lot about you. They don't know your values and your needs or what kind of causes you like to support. And YouTube really gets on my nerves about that. <laughs> like, I, I always search the same type of content, yet they show me garbage. And I'm like, I, you know, things that are not even allowed on YouTube. I'm not even going to discuss the type of video that I had to report the other day. And I said, listen, <laughs> I'm just about ready to go to another platform altogether. I, I've heard people talk about Rumble as, you know, being a little bit oppressive. So Rumble is one of the companies that does support this um, particular search engine. But I, I do also go to Rumble and watch videos there because YouTube is just so pushing garbage that I'm just fed up with it. So anyways, onward we go. If they control the flow of information on the web across the globe, which they do, they control the political and social narratives. Just like on Facebook, you know, they they do squash. Like if you go on YouTube and you're conservative and you're talking about something political, they will delete your comments. Like and now they're like you'll see this vote ranking on people's comments. So now like I've seen like in like using my mobile and I'm searching and I'll look at a comment and they'll ask me to vote on that comment. Like you know, but they, so people can like gang up on the conservatives 
and they're not even doing anything wrong. So they literally hide comments. Like, when is it okay for YouTube to hide comments? Let me choose each and every comment on whether or not I want to see that comment. But they are. They are absolutely squashing comments and using algorithm tools to squash them. So conservatives, anybody, especially like when the Trump shooting happened, <clears throat> I saw on a video where somebody had commented that they were deleting their comments and then about 200 people commented on that comment that it was the same thing was happening to them. So I started collecting thousands of people that this was happening to. And so they are, they absolutely are very manipulative and controlling of the social narrative. They absolutely are. And so I'm, that's why I'm thankful for, you know, browsers like this. Um, we have to give an equal balance to to um, social media and platforms to search things, you know. And that's why I was really glad that Elon Musk did buy Twitter because the left power is from the media. More than anything, it's from the media and their control. I can't even, I won't even, I can't even stomach to watch interviews. I like, it doesn't serve the presidential candidates or the presidents or former presidents to even have interviews with like CNN because I'm not going to watch them because they're just going to ask the same stupid questions and very biased in the way that they present their questions and I'm like I can't even stomach it right anyways so side note there's also a ton of money in tech the top search engine makes over $100 per US citizen from their search product did you know that so do you trust that your $100 is being invested and donated into causes that you believe in? Our search engine values individuals above collectives, truth over agendas, and freedom over collectivism. If that's something you're interested in, then please make Result Hunter your default search and we can work toward these goals together. How it works? In full transparency, it was not built from the ground up. We don't own our own multi-million dollar databases and ranking robots yet. They use some of the same underlying big tech technologies that Google uses with a ton of safeguards and sophisticated modifications in place so that they get to modify the ranking algorithms and in some cases have research sources that have been unfairly downweighted. And oh, yes, they do downweight stuff. And been downgraded sources that seem to be way too prevalent. So it can be used with this website, but the best way to switch search engines is with the Chrome, which is what I'm currently using, because I'm telling you, Microsoft Edge is resistant to this extension. They said that they removed it. It was what the message that I got. I'm like, okay, bye, Microsoft. And so Mozilla, Firefox extensions, I don't know about Opera, with work, which work on Chrome, Edge. It does not work on Edge. I just tried it today. They said it, I got the message that they removed it. And Firefox. And today is August 18th, 2024. So I also built the Result Hunter browser for Android devices that has turned out better than I could have dreamed. By default, your search experience is set on the safe search strict. That keep This keeps results somewhat family friendly, although when searching for non-family friendly terms, you will still likely get results that are not family friendly. You can change the safe search setting using the top right menu. Search options include web images, news, and research. We're working on more search engines. And now, of course, I did search my YouTube channel and I did find it right there at the top. So, for Christians, when I first created Result Hunter, I saw a clear political divide in how big tech operates, and this is real. It's all one sided. So, he's bringing forth the other side. But as time went on, as a Christian, I really wanted to build something for my fellow Christians. That's not just a political gap in big tech, but also a faith gap. So I wanted something to enhance purity, give me more relevant results for my values, and ultimately lead people to Christ. I also thought it might be unfair to those using Result Hunter to suddenly switch everything to be faith-oriented. So after all, Result Hunter serves a very valuable purpose as a counterbalance to leftist tech bias. So enter the Christian search engine Glorify. So they even have a sub-search engine for Christians. Isn't that awesome? So if you're a Christian looking for a search experience, you might find this pretty special. Now, for kids, I also built the abcsearch.org. So for parents, have your kids use that to keep kids safe online. Eventually, all kids gain access to the Internet. Parents have some control over when and how, but a lot of parents just let their kids run wild online. That's not necessarily a great idea, but I agree with that. So ABC Search is a great alternative to switch search engines on any devices your kids have access to. 
Th this augments the results to focus on facts, learning stories, and games that use a safe search and has additional social network blocking and query protections for a much safer experience. So how to support his efforts? He's an independent creator, not privy to pressures of any investors. It's net positive in revenue from ads, so he just needs more users. So this is where we come in. Please share this. Please use it. And I'm definitely using it. The best support he could get is just use the search engine regularly. So even more important, share Result Hunter wherever you know people care about freedom. That includes local radio because there's some amazing programs out there and they have more influence than you think. So I use various sources when I'm doing research on items like various platforms like buy shoot or I even um, when Ukraine war first started I even went to the um, Russian Facebook like platform that they have their own Facebook platform it's very similar to ours just to see what people were saying it was very sad that <clears throat> people were getting arrested just for holding a sign up protesting the war in that country you know we really take our freedom for granted we don't realize that they're not even allowed to hold up a sign and they I saw it with my eyes like they were being arrested it was pretty bad but I wanted also just to see what they were saying, you know, and really get it not. Because a lot of times there's so much going on in the world that we don't see. We're like in a, a lot of people are like in a bubble. So get out of the bubble, you know, and um, definitely, I, you know, when something, something like this comes forward, this is a great opportunity. And, you know, I've prayed for, for this. I prayed for more media platforms to be conservative and Christian um, because really and truly the power of the media is so demonic and so we're feeding it though you see what I'm saying so I'm very thankful that people are coming forward and making search engines like this and also um, especially you know one for kids like having a search engine for kids and also for Christians I just think that's fantastic you know, because I'm, I really do feel like I'm just exposed to stuff, especially on YouTube. YouTube is getting worse and worse and worse. And to the point where I'm not even sure if I should even stay on YouTube. Like, I do like to have the contacts that I have through the years that I've been on YouTube, you know, have met people and just had other connections with other Christians. And, um,. There's just way too much trolling and scamming, much more actually on Facebook than there is YouTube. Um, but there's just a lot of dark and negative stuff that just gets through that YouTube knows and is making profit from. And so I'm just really waiting for somebody to make an equal platform to YouTube that is conservative. And well, not necessarily that, you know, I don't want like other people who are not conservative to be like oppressed but to bring fairness and equality that's really all I ask for and we're not getting that with our and I don't, I'm only not sure that people are aware just how um, oppressed they are because if you don't know by unless you're using something else try it out and and just pick a topic to search you know maybe something political but pick a topic to search and use Microsoft or use Google and then use this search and then you will see you will actually see how much that they are hiding from you how how is that okay I don't know how I don't I can't wrap my brain around how anybody would be okay with that so anyways <clears throat> I just wanted to share this and um, just I just want people to be aware of it I actually saw <laughs> in a YouTube video it was, a, it was an ad, and when I tried to download it, of course, it wouldn't allow me. So, anyways, and then here's the select partners page. I'm trying to bring it up here. So, down here it talks about, so Rumble is one of them, which they consider themselves a YouTube alternative. Um, I, I don't know. They're not really, they are getting bigger. Rumble is definitely getting bigger. So, the Birch Gold Group, Liberty Classroom. So, I think that this is, you know, it's fairly new. I do think that it's going to grow. I, I do see them getting more partners. And so, if you are also a business, or if you know somebody that is, you might want to share this with them. Maybe if they're not familiar with it. Because there's definitely, this is the open door time for 
um, becoming partners because it's like the beginning stages and I do see it getting bigger I really do so that's it for this one and yeah um, if you want to try this out <clears throat> best to do it in Google and it's just an extension and so you're just going to type um, result result hunter dot com I'm trying to bring it up here Res see that result hunter dot com and then add the extension so that way anytime you're on Google and even when I'm using Microsoft um, I I will just go to Google and use Google search engine but now I will be using this for my searches and you know, there may be some things I think I saw a comment where somebody was saying that that there was something I think it was some mathematical that there may be some things in this that you know you, you may not be able to search um, you know Google's obviously going to have more results at this time because it's just been around for so long but as the ads start shifting to this particular platform um, it will get bigger I do see that happening I really do and so I'm just I just I'm very thankful for a conservative search engine especially for children and people of faith and now they have their own search engine and for parents definitely good idea to set your kids search engine on your on their devices if they have any to using you know the safer search search engines I don't know if parents are aware of that but anywho's I hope you have a good one bye